Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you how to use Safe Mode on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. So Safe Mode is a different way to boot up your Mac. It's a tool that you could use if your Mac is having trouble to both diagnose what the problem may be and also possibly fix it. So when should you use Safe Mode? Well, only if you're having trouble. I know a lot of people are going to be tempted to just try Safe Mode to see whether or not your Mac gets a little faster or more efficient or something like that. But it's really only there if you're actually having trouble. Like for instance, your Mac won't boot at all or you're getting constant errors and app crashes or perhaps your Mac is really slow and it freezes up for long periods of time or other like really severe problems. Things that you weren't having a short while ago and now suddenly your Mac isn't working right. Safe Mode is one thing you can use to try to fix this. Now it may not solve the problem. The issue may not be something that Safe Mode addresses but it's worth a try. So what does Safe Mode do? Well it does a few things. First, while booting up in Safe Mode it's going to run some system checks and it's going to do something very similar to Disk First Aid. That's when you boot into Recovery Mode, run Disk Utility, and run First Aid to diagnose and fix problems on the drive. It's going to do something similar to that. So if there's a disk issue then booting into Safe Mode may not only find the problem but may fix it. It's also going to boot without using system extensions, particularly ones installed by third party apps. So if you have an app installed, something that's adding something to the system and that's causing a problem, then booting into Safe Mode won't be using that extension and then you could see whether or not the problem still exists when you're in Safe Mode. It's also going to not install anything but the basic system fonts. So if there's a font causing the issue then booting into Safe Mode could reveal that. It's also going to clear out certain caches. Caches are bits of data stored on your Mac to help speed things up. Things like the kernel cache which is the core of your Mac operating system and also the font cache are cleared out when you boot into Safe Mode. So if the problem was caused by those booting into Safe Mode would actually fix the problem. So let's talk about how to boot into Safe Mode. There are two different methods depending upon which Mac you've got. If you have an older Intel Mac then it's pretty simple. All you need to do is shut down your Mac and wait for 10 seconds. And then when you boot up your Mac again while you're pressing the Power button also hold down the Shift key and keep the Shift key held down until you see the login screen. Then you're in Safe Mode. Now if you have a new Mac, one that's using the Apple Silicon chips like the M1 chip, then you do it differently. You still shut down and wait 10 seconds. But now you boot up by holding the Power button and you continue to hold the Power button. You don't need to use the Shift key at this point. Then it will show you a message telling you to continue to hold down the Power button for more options. And then you'll see a message saying it's booting with more options. At that point you can remove your finger from the Power button. Let it finish booting. Now to get to Safe Mode first select the startup disk. You probably just have the one internal drive as your startup disk. And then hold the Shift key down and the little bit of text underneath it will change to indicate that you can boot into Safe Mode. Click that. Now just wait for your Mac to finish booting. Now it could take a while because it's going to run all those disk checks, clear those caches, do a bunch of things. So be prepared to wait. Go grab a cup of coffee or go to lunch and let it finish booting into Safe Mode. But when it's done you'll see on the login screen a little red indicator at the top right saying you're in Safe Mode. And then once you log in you're logged in now in Safe Mode. Okay so that's how to do it but how do you actually use Safe Mode to fix problems on your Mac? Well first is when you have an issue you should try some things before Safe Mode. Try a regular reboot to see if that fixes the problem. And then if you're using a lot of apps at the same time after your regular reboot don't launch any new apps at all. Just launch maybe the one app you need to use and see if you're having trouble there. And then try to notice when trouble starts and which app it was that you added to the mix. In that case you know the trouble is that app. It's got nothing to do with Safe Mode and you need to contact support for that particular app. Now if you do try Safe Mode to try to fix things then after you've booted into Safe Mode what you want to do is test to see if the problem is still there. You don't want to use your Mac for too much. Remember you're now without some system extensions. You're now without some fonts. So you don't want to actually do any serious work. But test things out. If everything seems to be working fine now then maybe Safe Mode fixed the issue. In that case reboot and go back into normal mode so you can get back to work. 
if at that point everything seems fixed then you know that one of the things that Safe Mode did actually fixed the problem. However, if you note that the problem returns after booting normally then you know that it's probably some sort of system extension or a bad font or something that is causing the issue. After all it works fine in Safe Mode but not in regular boot mode. So then you need to go and do other things besides Safe Mode to fix the issue. Make sure all the alt software you have is up to date. It could be an old version of an app you're using has a bug in it that's fixed by a newer version. See if there's some software you have that you no longer need and disable or uninstall it. If you have anything that runs in the background, anything like a cleaner app or anti-malware or something like that that's always running and doing something behind the scenes, try disabling that, not using it for a little while, and see if that was causing the issue. Also consider any hardware accessories you have attached. Anything you have attached by USB or Thunderbolt could also be contributing to the issue. Try disconnecting them. See if the problem is still around after you reboot with those detached. And if the problem only exists when you attach those items you know that it's that item that's causing the issue. Another thing that you could do is to create a new user account on your Mac. You can create as many user accounts as you want. So create a brand new user account and see if the same problem happens in that user account. You don't need to use that user account for anything other than just testing. But if the problem isn't happening when you log into that user account but it is happening when you log into your regular user account, you know something that is being launched in that regular user account is causing the issue. You can go into System Preferences, Users, and Groups and check login items to see what's there. Although not everything appears there. A lot of software that you install won't be listed here but still launches something whenever you log in as that user. So again go through the software you have installed to see what you can disable or uninstall temporarily and check to see if that fixes the problem. Now if all that fails and Safe Mode didn't work and any of these other techniques didn't work then you probably want to make an appointment at the Genius Bar or with a Mac expert to have them take a first hand look at your Mac. Now if you want more information about Safe Mode Apple has this page that you can check out. So go there to read more about it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.